Hi everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and click on subscribe below if you haven't done so yet. You can click on the little bell so you get videos every week. And for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Charlotte. I am a medium channel, so I channel messages in direct. And so we're gonna see what is coming. Um, please remember, I don't know everything, this is very general, so take what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with you, that means this message is not for you. Also, this is timeless, so if you see this video in multiple months or year, that means you're going through the same energy right now and there's still a message for you in those videos. So, um, I hope you enjoy, I'm going to center myself and we're going to see the messages that are coming. Yeah, so there's been a lot of very heavy, very chaotic energies um, going on the past few days, the past few weeks. It's been very, very heavy as far as the energy, but um, they want you to know that it is going to an end. We go, <laughs> we're going towards the end of the tunnel, so the image is kind of like if we're going through a very dark tunnel, very, very long tunnel. And it's been very, very difficult as far as energies. is a lot of chaos, a lot of energy kind of pushing us uh, right and left, back and forth, kind of trying to push us down. But a lot of people have been very courageous, keep moving forward. They've been really lifting themselves up, give, keeping their head up, and they keep moving forward. So it's been very positive. Uh, just know that we are towards the end of that, okay? So it's kind of like if you can start seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, you know that the end is very near. It is coming soon. Uh, just have that in mind. A lot of people are still going through this very difficult, very heavy energy right now. And again, for a few more days or a few more weeks, just know that it is like a hidden gift, okay? It is really something that is for your best interest. It's very difficult to see right now because it's kind of like you're going through the middle of the storm and you cannot see anything, you cannot see forward and you don't know what's going on and it's very, very difficult um, to see forward. But just know that it's very necessary and it's going to be very helpful for you going forward, okay? You have to see the bigger picture and have faith in what is coming. Uh, it's kind of like it's been really cleaning, cleansing all those all the energies, those old blocks by going through those more difficult energy, difficult situation. And they've been kind of taking that old energy with it, okay? So really have that in mind. It's kind of like you went through that storm and it's really getting a lot on you, but it's clearing that old stuff and then you're gonna come out really cleaned up and cleans from those energies. So it's very positive. Just know that it's very, very important to keep moving forward. It's one step at a time, but always keep moving forward, even if you're going slow. Um, I hear a lot of people saying this is taking forever. It is going very, very slow. Just know that it is better to be slow and study, okay? It's kind of like we're putting new foundation. It needs to be very well put. It needs to be strong and secure, okay? So it's better to take our time and make sure it's perfect and safe before we can move forward. This is where we're at right now. Okay, so there's going to be a new energy coming in though for the next few weeks. That's going to be a new creative energy. A lot of the second chakra is going to be worked on. The sacral chakra, which is right below the belly button, which is the color orange, is going to be worked on very strongly to prepare us for this new uh, vital energy, the, the energy of life, the creative energy coming up for the next few weeks. So it's kind of like we've been cleaning, cleansing, all that old stuff. And then now we're going to go into that new creative phase where we're going to create the new foundation and create that new ground, that new life for yourself. Um, so just work on that. Just to know that that chakra is going to be worked on very strongly. Again, this is for the sacral chakra, which is a second chakra. And it's going to be very important to work on that chakra because it's going to be 
extremely activated for the next few weeks. Um, they are telling me to tell you that it is also very important to understand to make some uh, pause moment, to make some uh, some resets and really make the silence between those two energies. Okay, we had very, very chaotic energy, uh, which is still going on for a couple more days, couple more weeks for some people. And then before we get into the new creative energy, we're going to need to do that reset button to really pause ourself and really be in silence and 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 have that silence to clear up the energy so what it's going to do is like we've been checked up extremely checked up with the energy the past few days the past few weeks and then we really need to keep it still so it can like really settle down and take position and come down and then we're going to go into the new creative energy but just know that we we need to do that pause that silent moment before we rush from one extreme energy to another um it's going to be very important to stay stable and be able to welcome the new energy fully okay so i hear some people are saying okay how do i do that i'm not sure what it is so just um what's it telling me about it's just that you have to keep moments to really really like sit down and make silence okay make silence in your head for at least 10 15 minutes a day and reconnect with your inner self your higher self okay you just have to make that silence moment a lot of people are extremely 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 mind oriented and their mind is directing them everywhere in every direction and it's really controlling their life um the overthinking also over analyzing and and it's it's really taking a lot of their energies they really giving you the advice that you need 10 15 minutes a day every day to really make that moment of silence you just sit down quiet silence around you silence in your head and bring your attention inside your body toward your stomach okay and really recenter yourself it's going to be extremely important to work on that a little bit every day to create that new balance before you get into the new energy okay so they're saying also like we're saying a lot of people are very mind oriented uh, there's going to be a big distinction coming up in the next few weeks also that is going to start to show itself between the when when you follow the mind and where it's taking you and when you follow your inner self your soul your heart okay and where it is taking you and you're going to see that when you follow your inner self your soul your heart it's going to take you to a much easier smoother ride than if you follow your mind it's going to be a more bumpy more difficult ride so both of them are taking you in the same direction just know that one way is easier than the other it's like an easy road that's very pleasant or a more bumpy road uh, that is a little bit more difficult so you're gonna see the distinction between those two a lot of people are gonna realize that okay when they're following the intuition they're following what they want they're more in the impulse in the moment in the present moment and going with their god who is their intuition they see that it's working out really well when they're overthinking and really following their minds they see it's a lot more difficult there's more problems coming up so they're going to be able to see and make that distinction and really develop that so that's something that's again um doesn't happen overnight it's something that you develop by practicing and and really developing in and be conscious of it so a lot of conscious is going to be opening up toward that and it's going to really help a lot of people grow and follow that path okay it's also saying be careful for some people um these little things happening in your day throughout the day that are a little bit um uh, uh contrariety that that are here to make you a little bit mad but just be careful not to really get obsessed on it and the more obsessed you're gonna get about it or the more you're gonna focus on that the bigger that little problem is gonna become and then it's gonna go from that little thing that was just a tiny little uh, problem a tiny little thing on your path and then the more you focus on it and it's going to become huge and then it's really going to slow you down on your path so just be aware of that and be able to kind of like keep moving forward and not really 
get obsessed on the things that make you mad because it's just creating more problems in your life. Yeah, so it's kind of like the image, it's kind of like, um, you know, you're on the road and there's like those little things on the road, okay, while well, you still have the power, you have the choice to go right or left and go around them, okay, you don't have to go straight on it because then it's going to create some retention, it's going to create some blocks in your life, it's going to be really slowing you down, so you can go around it, you can move past that okay so it's really your decision and your power to do that um you are not a victim of the outside events so you are an actor of your life and you create your own life so you have to take that power back yeah be very careful of the things you are thinking right now uh is this going to um, be speaking to certain people that are very more advanced in their spirituality and their awakening and they are very 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 manifesting a lot of things extremely quickly so be careful what you're thinking where you direct your mind because you're attracting to it you you you're attracting that to your life and you're manifesting that in your life extremely quickly right now uh, as far as the energy goes so just be aware of that be very careful where you direct your mind Let me see if there's something else. Yeah, so there's a lot of people that have been like really um, doing that, be cleaning, cleansing in their house, getting rid of stuff and really throwing all that stuff away. And this is a very big symbol of what's going on with us right now. We've been having all those old blocks, those old fears, those old things from the past that are being really removed, being cleansed away, really uh remove that's what i'm hearing so it is a very powerful symbol because it's kind of like you had all those things that you had accumulated and keep for years that you don't use that are not serving you but it's just take rooms it's creating blocks it's it's really blocking the energy to circulate well and now you're just removing all that and you're really throwing all that away and now it's finally clear you can breathe the energy can circulate easily uh, you can see exactly what you have and use it and really it's like that whole space just open up so it's a very big symbol of what's going on inside of us right now as far as the energy um, so like I said some people are actually doing that with a material thing in their life as far as like cleaning their house and things like that which is a very very strong um, symbol of what we're going through and it's also actually helping the energy circulate as well so if you are um, doing that is saying that's great that's just really like pushing that energy forward and really helping circulate the new energy Yeah, so don't be discouraged. A lot of people are feeling discouraged right now. The energy is very heavy, very difficult, a lot of chaos. Again, don't be discouraged. Just keep moving forward. You know this is for the best, okay? We just have to go through this so we can be ready for the new step, okay? Which is going to be the new beginning, the new creation. A lot of people have been kind of like in that hibernation mode where it was very very like slow like nothing happening and now it's like we're starting to come out starting to come out of your hiding place starting to see the light again starting to go back into the life into the new energy start moving up um so this is very positive again look at nature we are on the same um kind of cycle of the nature and it's really starting to awaken starting to have the flower come up and really it's like us right now our energy is starting to come back up again we're gonna have a very very strong positive creative energy coming up toward us in the next few weeks that's really going to be that uh, renew that rebirth and it's going to give us like very very fiery i see a very fiery energy very connected to the sun very very fiery energy which would be very positive for what we just went through um 
also here for some people use water use water to really help all those energy clean up really helps them move away go along okay so um people that are by the beach by river uh, they can have like that just that water sound that's going to really help them relax and remove that stress if you can you know take shower bath all the things connected to the water drink plenty of water to really help that energy circulate and have that the whole stressful chaotic energy we went through the past few days really go away Okay, I know that's it. So they're saying just remember to work on that silence, to make that moment, to really have time for yourself, 10, 15 minutes to make that pause, that reset button, that silence inside of you to prepare you to that new uplifting energy that is coming for the next few weeks, okay? So like we said, some people are still going through that more heavy energy, but just know it's towards the end, okay? Just keep your head up because we are really towards the end of that. We're towards the end of that channel. And then make sure you make that pause at sound moment before you go into the new, very fiery, very positive, creative energy. Um, that's gonna be very, very important. Okay, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. Uh, just remember also there's been a lot of um, videos I channeled the past few weeks that are still connected to those energies and there is a lot of advice in those that are very helpful for the energy we're going through right now. So you can go check those out and that would be very helpful. Um, if you like it, please don't forget to like, share it with family and friends if that can help them. And I will see you in another video next week. Have a great week. Thank you for watching. Bye.